Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope all is well. Hope everyone's doing all right. We have a few still trying to connect. So let us give them a few seconds to get in here. I think we are good. All right. So uh, good afternoon once again. Hope everybody's doing great. Hope everybody's all right. Sorry for running a few minutes late. I got caught up in traffic, but I do appreciate you guys uh, hanging on and staying, staying, staying uh, linked up. So uh, my name is Vincent Tucker. I will be your instructor for this online session of calculus. Hope everybody's doing great. So going into uh, Canvas, want to make sure that we're okay with the few things that I've sent to you and how we're going to operate with class moving forward. So periodically, I will be sending you guys uh, class emails. Let me do this real quick. Give me one second. Okay, I will be sending you class emails. If ever you want to know if I sent an email, maybe you missed something or something along those lines, your class emails will always be archived here in your class announcements, Canvas announcements. So all of them will be here. Everything I've sent up to this point and then everything I send from this point forward will be here in your Canvas announcements. All right, so the first one was just a greetings, letting you know it was an online class. Uh, you know, we don't meet any um, scheduled times, but, you know, everything will be uh, accomplished through supplemental material and at your own pace within the, you know, due dates and deadlines. All right. And, you know, of course, that second one was about this meeting right here. I'm going to record it and send it out to everyone as well, but... Um, had to get here and do it first. Now here, just the required materials, web assigned access. So you don't necessarily have to buy the textbook, but you do want to purchase access to web assign. Uh, within web assign, you will have access to the textbook, which is the e-text. And then also within web assign, we do all of our assignments, our tests, whatever we do is going to be done through web assign. All of your homework um, grades, all of your test grades, all of your grades, and then uh, what else, what else, what else? All of your grades and all your due dates will be through uh, camp, uh, web sign, will be seen in web sign. So here are your instructions on that. So when you go into your home, let me see, where is it? Okay, there we go. Uh, I just took a while to come up. Come on, guy. And so, all right, there we go. So right here is that web assign access and ebook where you click on here and then it'll take you to web assign. About to open up in a new window. All right, so a lot of you are already re uh, registered, so that's a great thing. And so um, here you see all of your assignments. So basically, the way we're going to do things here in WebSign, uh, for all of your assignments, you're going to have uh, two, due, two due dates, two major due dates. One is uh, from uh, at midterm, and then one is at the end of the semester. So let's look at all of the assignments. All right, so I haven't mapped it out yet, but it should be right right in front of spring break. Or I think I normally do the Sunday at the end of spring break is where um, one through three will be due. Chapters one through three will be due. Uh, notice you have your midterm review right here. Uh, so right after that, you know, uh, you'll be able to look at that and see everything that you need to see as far as what pertains to the midterm. And then, you know, if you take a look at it, that's great. If not, still great. Um, but it's just for you if you want to take advantage of it. And then your midterm will be right up in here. Um, but I haven't posted yet because, of course, you guys don't need it right now. And so um, that will be the only two times that I need to meet you and see you. And that will be your midterm and your final exam. So, your, uh, like I said, midterm will be the first time. We'll do that through Zoom. And I'll give you more instructions on that when we get closer to it. And then your final exam will be uh, right here. And that'll just be on chapters four and five. So midterm is on chapters one through three, final exam is on four through five, four and five. All right. 
So let me go back here. So make sure you try, if you haven't already, make sure you have access to WebAssign and have sought, signed up and you're on the roster. So um, we know that you're good to go. So here, how we're going to use WebAssign is that um, because everything that we do is generated through WebAssign, all your assignments and all the good stuff like that, you cannot pass a course without getting access to WebAssign. So just like in any other class, you have to purchase a textbook. Here we're purchasing WebAssign, which also gives you access to your textbook. I uh, already mentioned the second statement. So your attendance will be uh, gauged through WebAssign. So weekly, you know, just going into WebAssign weekly, of course, you should be doing homework. So you're supposed to be going in there anyway, but I won't say you have to be in there daily. But if you at least go in WebAssign weekly, that will account for your attendance. Um, even if by some chance you wasn't able to get a lot of work in or get any work in, let's say it's, it's Friday, you haven't done anything, at least go into a homework assignment and hit save and come on out something like that, um, you know, to, to signify that you are around, still here trying to make it work. And so weekly is what, I, what I'm looking for. So, yeah, and as, as with anything, if you have any issues with anything, whether it be web assign, getting into web assign, or just doing any work, um, you get behind, let me know so we can talk about it, make sure you're good to go, uh, make sure that we create a plan for you getting, you know, caught up in all of this stuff like that. So what you don't want to do is not say anything because Every semester, every year, I have people that just fall off the face of the earth. You don't want to be one of those people because I don't. All I can do is give them an F. You know what I mean? Because they don't tell me anything. So make sure that you tell me a little something. I don't need deep, intimate details, but I do need a little bit of information. Let me know that you're still around. So your your homework, I want to set it for unlimited amount of attempts, but they the max they do is 100. So that's the most attempts I could grant you. Uh, so you have 100 attempts on your problems to get the best grade possible in your homework. If by some chance, one of my homework assignments are not set that way, uh, maybe I missed something or something like that, let me know. Or if you get to exhausting your attempts because it wasn't set that way, let me know. Then um, I'll go in and make the adjustment. Um, here, um, when it comes to your homework, I'm looking for 75 or better. Uh, with 100 attempts, I would hope that uh, you would be able to score 75% or better on your homeworks. So if you score 75 to 84.9, I will give you an A in my grade book. But to try to push you a little bit, if you score at least an 85, I will give you 100%. Any test reviews, all test reviews, none of them are mandatory. But if you score 85 or better, I will add five points to that respective test. So um, any test review you see, if you go in there, make an attempt, um, you do well on it, great. If you don't do any well, any if you don't do well on it, it's still great. Um, they're not counted against you. But if, once again, if you score eighty five or better, I will add five points to that respective test. Now your tests are not set up your, like your homework. You get two attempts on your test, and whatever grade your test is, is that you know what I mean? It's the homework I make the adjustment, but for your grade for your actual test grades, that is what it is, and then. Scratch work of your test submissions is what I would need from you as well. So you can either take a picture with your phone, shoot it to me as an email, or even scan it. Whatever way you decide to do it, um, you know, make sure you email me a copy of your scratch work. So any questions on anything, any questions or anything, uh, in, in any of the previous emails before I go any further? Is everybody okay? All right, all right. So the other announcement, uh, let's see, let's see. I think it was, yep. So the next one, just previously recorded lectures. You can use them if you like. If not, it's all good. These are just lectures of me covering these top topics with another class. So you see the titles and, um, you know, whatever it is that are, uh, you're dealing with the time. The, the sections may not match up. That's why I put them as titles. So if you're in a section and you're dealing with rate of change and the tangent lines or curves, and there you go. Um, same thing with limits, continuity, and so on. So, all right. And then also when it comes to supplementing your uh, instruction. So here we also have PowerPoint slides of all of the chapters. Now all of these should line up because they're coming straight from this book. So one through five slides, if you want to take a look at those, those come from the book. 
And um, you know, if you click on it, here you have to download it. Uh, did it let you? Okay, no, no, no. I did get changes so that you can uh, just view it right here. This may take a while. There we go. So, yeah. Well, yeah. So, anyway, those are the slides. You can just go through them. All right. So, and then the last email I sent you guys was the syllabus. Web assign doesn't make it, unless I missed it. Web assign doesn't make it, so I can put the syllabus in Web assign. So, here's your syllabus right here if anybody needs to see it. All right. So, questions on anything? Anything I said that uh, sparked a question? Okay, let's see. I think that's it. I need to change these dates to match um, midway point. As we get closer and closer to um, the midterm, I will be sending you out. What's going to happen is I'm going to send you out about three or four options you know uh to choose from as far as when you're going to take your uh midterm and i do the same thing when it comes to final exam time as well and so you know one could be monday from one to three the next one could be tuesday from 11 to, to, to one i'm gonna give you a two-hour block in both cases and then in every um and then for that week you'll have like i said three or four options to choose from and so it's just important that you communicate if by some chance uh, you can't make one of those. Then you most definitely tell me you don't want to just take a zero on your midterm. And then uh, from there, you would log on, show your ID to the camera, make sure your camera is enabled, make sure you can use your camera. And then I will give you the password to the, to the midterm or the final exam. And you will just take it right there at that moment. And uh, we will go from there. We'll go from there. Not saying that your final, your final exam or midterm will take two hours, just that those, that's the amount of time that I give you if you decide to use it. So any questions, concerns, or comments before we uh, close out? Once again, you see homework, and then you see tests right here. So every chapter has its own test, but you do them on your own time. Um, and then the only times that I need to see you in which you cannot do it on your own would be your midterm and your final exam. All right. Everybody good? Everybody straight? All right, I see thumbs up. Okay, I appreciate it. Appreciate the response. So if you guys are good, I'm good. I'm going to shoot you my office hours before the week is out. I established them now, so I know what it's going to be. All my office hours are through Zoom as well. So, um, you know, what you would do is just, you know, click on the Zoom link. I'll give you the multiple options, and that link will last. Those links will last throughout the semester. So you just click on the link that you're going to come to. It does help me if you're going to, if you know you're going to come to an office hour, you can shoot me an email, but uh, you don't necessarily have to. But I will say this. If I have office hours from 10 to 2 and you know you're not showing up till 11, you got to let me know because oftentimes a lot of people don't show up. Uh, well, let me say a lot of people. No one shows up for office hours a lot of times. So just sitting there, I might, you know, go to the restroom or I might go talk to another instructor. I might do some of anything and I might not be there when you actually log on, but I'm coming back. So that type of thing. But if you know, so if you know you're going to be, you know, like I said, an hour into the session or whatever the office hour let me know so i know to be there when you're when you log on and i'll uh, make sure you're good to go all right so if you guys are good um i'm good you guys have a great one have a great semester and um i'll be here to help you whenever you need me right. i have a question oh yes um is it enough just to study the videos that you see in announcement sure mm -hmm. Or we should also study the PowerPoint slides. No, you don't have to do both. It's up to you. Um, those are the lectures that I gave for the, for those students at the time, and that's what I would have given you if we were meeting at, at live. I, that's what I would have been doing. So no, they're they're good enough. They should be fine. Um, so the video should be enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, they, so, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, can I contact with you uh, via email? You say you tried to. Um, yeah. Okay, I may have missed it. I know uh, my email was acting funny yesterday and I had to change my password and stuff like that. So I haven't went back and looked at some emails and, and get caught up. So I, I just uh, maybe may haven't gotten to it yet. Uh-huh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. 
Yeah, no problem. No problem. Anything else? Anybody else? All right. So you guys have a good one. Be safe. And um, I will see you around. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good one.